Auntie Rayless. That's Auntie Rayless. It's, it's not no I'm a Rayless. The, the, it's the secret code name. It's the color my world. It's the Mama Rayless. And the, the most but not least more important is the Auntie Rayless. And already talking about Auntie Rayless, we have Nine Super Pie and Amarillas playing Bayonetta and we fit. And if we've seen anything, and by anything I mean absolute destruction, that's Amarillas three stocking John numbers like how many times? Oh my god. I well to be fair, I have also seen Amarillas go three stocks up on John and then John run it back. Uh that this matchup in general is just kind of a slobber knocker, brutal, you know. They just beat the crap out of each other. Although right now, actually, it's more of a blow for blow match as it feels like Nine Super Pie is just playing, like playing around, not dying to Bayo's shenanigans, not getting carried off the top, not getting carried off the sides. And so now we actually have this really interesting situation where the neutral, you have to find the kills, and that's a beautiful kill that Amaryllis just found. Which timing, expecting that projectile, that's going to be a, a stock lead. But see, can't do anything with it. Nope. All right. Listen, it, it just might be a little bit stressful, but what is stress when you can put on 63%? That wasn't doing anything, but you know what is doing something? Ooh. That up air that almost killed at 93%. I was saying before how, oh yeah, no, 9 Super Pie's not falling for any of that, the, the real uh, gross stuff. Apparently Amaryllis was just saving it for stock two. Let me tell you something. You may think it's not real, but it is absolutely very real. You don't play all of the Bayo players that we have in Tri-State. Let me tell you something, because they will absolutely obliterate your stock in less than 2.5 seconds. And that's what we're almost seeing here. We're seeing a very sizable, you know, like, just control of the game from Amaryllis. Although losing, you know, that, ooh, Ludge Trap, we are just watching a Two players just duke it out right yeah. now. And I want to just dwell for Okay, that's the first deep breathing I was about to mention. Amaryllis has been on top of the 9 Super Pie so much that that's the first deep breathing we've seen in ages. Can't even do anything with it. He's thrown off stage soon after and just drops into the blast zone. Let's see now. Amaryllis once more has the stock lead. Couldn't quite do anything with it last time around. Let's see if, you know, maybe can play to a lead and increase that gap between them. Now, the one thing I really want to mention about this matchup is something like that. The ball just happened to happen two times where Amarillas got hit by the ball, and that's actually something that a lot of Wii Fit players have been using a lot more. Don't and just reset on the platform! Dead? No. <gasps> I, you were looking a little, like, shook, but, like, I'm sorry. This character? The, no. The, the fact that... Well, the, Landed all, he specifically went for forward air so that he could get a side B started on the no! platform. Oh my he god! He deserved to get. I normally don't say Bayonetta deserves to kill their opponent at 70, but it felt like he yeah, really, honestly, Amaryllis deserved that. Now, we really have to mention the fact that Amaryllis is looking mighty scary. I didn't see that they lost their. They didn't have the jump, but still, like, you don't want to lose a lead to Wii Fit. That would be such a really bad. Misstep, oh, but I this think the is Bayo. Ball saved them. See, you're going to be having a lot of these, you know, just non existent kill options that look like they should be killing, but they're not because it's Bayo. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if deep breathing gets into effect here, ah, Super Pi still doesn't have time to really go for it. But forward and not killing, it's 186%. Now, if you're Emeraldus, things actually just got real scary real quick because. No. No. As soon as I saw that header, I was like, F smash. And you know why F smash? Auntie Rylus. <laughs> Period. I mean, it's, it's gigantic. It's literally... You would, you would think that it's gigantic, but then you haven't seen Bayo play Pikachu. Then, Does all of a sudden... Pikachu? Sure. <laughs> it, it hits Pikachu. Like, maybe once. If they quick attack. Sure. And it misses. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but for sure, this character is definitely really strong. And we definitely love to see Amaryllis showing their potential. We love it. And not only that, I'm definitely ready to see how else Amaryllis is going to show us the ledge traps. That's the most important part, especially against Wii Fit. Because if you don't have the ledge traps, then you don't, you don't have a lot. Yeah, we've seen through other Wii Fits what Wii Fit can do at the ledge. You know, John Numbers, that's home. And he managed to turn it into an advantage. 
and I think that he's probably the best at it, at it but other Wii Fits definitely can emulate that for sure. So if you're able to reliably trap them at the ledge, get damage, get kills like we saw, then, you know, that's, that's like one aspect of the game that's just in your command. All right, but we're getting into the second game, and it's looking like... That is going to be death. And you know why? Ooh. Because Nine Super Pi used header right in front of Auntie Rylas with the ass smash ready to, to get you some demon the action. The ball hit him. Yeah. And the ball killed him. Yeah. Do you know how much power the ball had behind it? It had the power <laughs> of Madama Butterfly backing her up. Let me tell you. You may think that she's not her Smash War iteration, but she still got some power. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Emerald is just showing it. Just showing it right now. Oh, okay. Taking that stock, though. Once again, I will say that Emerald is doing a great job of always being the first one to take the stock. But in terms of playing to the lead, it feels like Emerald just wants to play the game. You know? Doesn't want to camp no. out with bullet arts or anything like that. Uh, which, commendable to him. Blood arts. But what other video do you know camps with bullet arts? I might be uh, the only one at this point. <laughs> Hello? Like, <laughs> anyways. You, you have to show them the way, then. Show them the way I've been trying. <laughs> Auntie Rylus is too stuck in their crackhead ways. A lot of Bayos are crackheads. You don't know about it, but... Oh, I know. Crackhead. Don't worry. I'm, I'm friends with Bayo mates. I know what they do. Well, you're friends with one on commentary right now, period. We're really going to have to talk about this right now because look at how Auntie Rylus is at 126% and might be making this bad because they have rage, but that header isn't going to do it. Just stopping Auntie Rylus in their tracks and... Ooh, this could be very scary because deep breathing is in action right now. And if anything, if anything, it might just be an F tilt. Oh, or, or a dash attack. I don't know. That's looking really nice. Right? That, the back hit of forward air. That's like the only move that Weefit has that wouldn't kill at that point. Emerald is hanging on by the tiniest of threads, but it is still enough. Let's see if he, maybe he'll be able to actually take this stock 100 already, even if he drops here, which I think that should be it. Um, yeah. So, but it's 101 percent onto Wii Fit. That's not unmanageable. You can definitely take that uh, deficit and turn it right around. Manageable? I think it's more than manageable. Auntie Aurelius has gotten how many? At three. Three. Yeah. Three F smashes. This three is out of five stocks. That's like 60 percent of stocks. Mm -hmm. That's like a passing grade in some states. And speaking of passing grades. It's looking like 9 Super Pie is failing right now. This geometry test, the, the meticulousness of the, of, the, of the ball, the header, is looking like it's failing them right now. Fair, one, two, Ooh. three, period. But not gonna kill just yet. Was a little bit too close to the stage. And what a tech! That oh God. Killed. That almost killed outright. Emerald is alive right now, but that's the sort of thing where he was probably feeling himself and then got like snapped back to reality. Listen. Still gonna be doing the same thing he always does, but now he maybe he's gonna be a little bit more careful. Never mind. No, caution to the wind here. Why bother? The tech again. If Nine Super Pie would have went for that header, that would have been so horrible. And that's an F throw. That's an F throw, but I also want to just... I, is it best 3 out of 5 or not? I know we're in the monthly, and I think top... Five, yeah, he's putting them back down. We do have best 3 out of 5 here. Mm. Um, I like the fact, though, that you saw header the other direction because he knew that forward smash was coming. At the very least, he's <laughs> he's starting to pick up uh, you know, what's being thrown at him, and he adapted. Went the other way, make sure he didn't die to it, uh, and then died a couple seconds later, <laughs> and, and he went to the forward throw. I mean... Uh, the thing is, too, is that, like, you always have to be consistently worried about which time. As much as, like, you know, you don't think which time is a threat, there are so many situations where you can eat about 120% in just one instance and, like, just absolutely get, like, destroyed if you don't know how to pick and choose when you're actually, you know, using header, using, you know, um, uh, deep breathing. A lot of those situations are what, you know, is um, getting called out by Amorellis. Yeah, not only that, but the, the Bayo buffs that happened recently, specifically recently? with 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 projectiles. That, oh, that, yeah. that buff that deals with, like, you know, the fact that further away will actually freeze the opponent. Very relevant in this matchup. Especially when, uh, you know, Super Pi is off stage, throws out that header. If it switch times, it's actually pretty decent. Oh my god. What the heck just happened? Um, well, if you want me to explain it really quick, so essentially what happened was up B 
wait, and then another up B because Nine Street provided a jump, and then fair one, two, three. And usually, some things you see a lot of other Bayos do is that they'll actually hold the fair one, two, three to actually extend the distance of the actual like move. So if you use fair one, two, three, it's a lot shorter than it would be if you were fair one, two, three. And speaking of fair one, two, just fair overall, we're seeing Amaryllis use it beautifully, amazingly well, and already having 9 Super Pie at 108%. Oh, oh man! All right, so yeah, good shield right there from Nine Super Pie, but I mean, it's like a consolation prize, not dying to the up smash. While Amaryllis still only at twenty three percent on his first stock. You wouldn't know something. That almost killed. Like, oh. in no world should that ever be killing. That's bullet arts and air. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I do like that read. Uh, don't like that read. <laughs> <laughs> Amarill is just scoping out that up tilt from across the entire uh, entire stage. And now there's just three stocks to one. And this is like not only just three stocks to one, but the sheer dominance, the understanding that Amaryllis has in advantage, in disadvantage, in neutral. I, it's all a, all of the tiny little things that Amaryllis learned in the last two games are now coming out in full as this massive lead gets extended only even further. And you want to know something, too. We're just not going to be stopping any of this damage. Already having Super 9 Super 5 at a 60%, 66, 70. And the S smash, not going to take it just yet. But you really have to be careful. <laughs> because situations like that happen. You get three stocks oh. and Bayo all of a sudden looked like Smash 4 again. L I listen, know. listen. When he, he was dead after that F smash. I don't care if there was like, it was basically just a cutscene of Actually, him slowly drifting back to stage until he got back in.